<laughs> okay, so now we're going to make a little craft for our story. Um, one part in the story um, that we need to, that Pastor Pat didn't say yet, was that the end, um, God sent a promise to Noah and his family um, that he would always take care of him. And I'm sure you guys know what that promise was, but he sent a rainbow. And that rainbow was a promise that he will always take care of us. And he is faithful to us. If you look every anytime it rains outside, sometimes if it's sunny, you'll see a pretty rainbow out in the um, in the sky. And that is a reminder to us, too, that God is faithful and he'll take care of us. Even in times like this where maybe we're sad because we can't go play with our friends at the playground or we haven't been able to see our friends at school or we have to talk to our grandmas and grandpas only on a computer like this. We can't go and see them. We know that God is faithful and he is still taking care of us. So we are going to make a rainbow today. So all you need are things that you have at your house. If you have a paper towel like this, or even a coffee filter, if your mom and dad drink coffee, our coffee filters are brown because they're like eco-friendly. So it's not gonna make a very pretty um, rainbow. So we decided to use a paper towel. So you need paper towel or coffee filter, markers, oh yeah, scissors, don't forget the scissors, and water, which I think we probably all hopefully have at least a little bit of water. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut your coffee filter or your paper towel into a shape, kind of like a half circle, like a rainbow. You can make this really big if you want. You can make it small. You could cut here to make it more like a rainbow, however you want to do it. After that, all you're going to do is color in rainbow. You can make that as colorful as you want. You could do really thick things. You could do thin things, thin lines like that whatever you want to do. Now here comes the fun part. Anna is going to demonstrate for us here. You're going to take some water. If you have a little dropper, like a medicine dropper, this would work really fun, but we don't even have that. So we're just going to use our fingers and we're going to pretend that it's raining, just like it rained on the ark. And you're just going to start sprinkling the water all over. Now it's going to get really wet. So this is going to be after you're done, you're going to have to let it dry. Another fun thing you can do, I forgot to tell you, is if you have a white crayon, you could draw something in it while you're coloring. So maybe like a cross or you could put a Bible verse, however you want. And then once you start to sprinkle it on, it'll show up. So as you're sprinkling, there, Anna, good job. Good job, Anna. <laughs> once it starts to sprinkle and you can do more and more, it will start to run together if you can kind of see that. Now, if you did thicker lines, it would probably run together a little bit more. You can get it as wet as you want. Look at that. It even did it on the bottom, too. Now, you do want to put something underneath your paper just because you don't want to mess up your mom and dad's kitchen counters. That would be a bummer. Um, so here's a. this isn't really a very good example of a rainbow, but you can see how it kind of started to run there, too. So after you're done, you're just going to make your pretty rainbow, and you can let it make it really pretty like that. Then you're going to let it dry. Now, what I think would be fun to do is after it's all dry, it's going to take a little bit of time to dry because we, um, because it's paper towel or filter and it's going to need to get dry. What if we hung these up in our windows? So people who are walking by, there's a lot of people going for walks right now. We could hang it up in our window so people could see it. Maybe we could also make a little sign that says God is faithful or something like that and hang up in the window. So then as people are walking by, it's a good reminder to us because we can look out and see a really pretty rainbow in our window, but also to all of our neighbors that God is faithful and he's gonna take care of us and he is going to be with us through this kind of sad time right now. And we know that in the end um, that he will still be with us. And won't it be so fun when we can finally come back to Sunday school and to church and we can go play with our friends again. It's gonna be so, so exciting. So. Um, that is all. We're also going to put some links. Oh, yes. You could also, if you want to do, a, don't want to do a rainbow, you can make an arc like that. Do a bit more advanced. Yes. <laughs> if you'd like to make an arc and you can also, if you don't want to do rainbow colors, you could do other colors and um, hang that up too. You could even write on that, like maybe God is faithful with a marker and hang that up too. So there's lots of different things we can do. So that is what we're, we're doing today. We're so glad that we are able to see you guys at least through through the computer like this and we missed you guys and we can't wait until we can be with you again in Sunday school. Bye.